Hey, Shoreline Littles! I'm so excited to do church with you today. I'm Mila, and we want to send a big old welcome if you're joining us for the very first time. Yay! Or if you've been around here once or twice, then you know what's up next. Do you know what it is? You got it! It's the creed! We have Rever that's going to show us the motions while we do it. I am loved by God. I cannot earn it. I cannot lose it. In Christ, I am forgiven and made brand new. I live with passion and purpose. I'm empowered by the Spirit to be the church in the world and to live for the glory of God. Woohoo! Great job! That was amazing! You know what's up next? You got it! We're going to worship! Yay! Yeah. All right. Let's go! There is nothing Impossible, no there is nothing, nothing. Too difficult, because you're with, me. you're with me I am not afraid, nothing is too hard for you to know what to do. Like, what should I eat for snacks? Or what color marker should I draw with? Or 
or should I wear my flip-flops or my rain boots? This thinking hat is so great. I'm gonna wear it everywhere. Who? Who? Hey, it's Holly. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? That's quite the hat. How's it working for you? Hi, Ollie. When I spin my thinking hat, I always know just what to do. Making choices isn't easy. That's true. But I know someone wise to help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. <laughs> oh, hola friends! I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished fixing this gavel for my friend. She's a judge and uses this in her courtroom. She knocks it on her desk when she wants to say something. Or tell people what they should do. <laughs> Speaking of judges, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yup, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Deborah. Deborah was the leader of all God's people. She was their judge. Every day, Deborah would stand under a tree and the people would come to her with their big questions and ask her what to do. Deborah knew God was with her. She trusted God to help her be wise and tell the people the right thing to do. Now God is always with you too. He can help you be wise and do the right thing. Like when, oh, you and your friend both want to play with the same toy. Hmm. You can be wise and remember that God wants us to love others by sharing. <laughs> or when your brother knocks over your blocks. Well, you can be wise and use kind words instead of yelling at him. <laughs> or when you see someone get hurt, you can be wise and remember that God wants us to help people. God was with Deborah and helped her be wise. God is always with you and can help you be wise and do the right thing too. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped Deborah be wise, and he can help us be wise too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God helped Deborah to be wise and know what to do. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, you get it? Got it! Good! My thinking hat is fun to wear, but I know I have God to help me make wise choices. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! today, Deborah knew God was with her and when she trusted God to help her be wise and tell the people all the right things to do. Guess what? God is with you. That's the memory statement. Can you say it with me on the count of three? Here we go. 
One, two, three. Repeat after me. God is with me. We love you. Have the best day. 